Well hello again everyone and welcome back to a new video. Well today in this video I'll be showing you the final look on this really cool GPO 746 from 1971. Now I have had this phone for at least two months if not more, but at the time I restored this phone I just hadn't got around to making the final look video. I think it was something to do with sourcing this plastic dummy switch cover on the top there, but I, I can't remember now. But anyway, if you had been waiting to see this video, then I do apologise. So as you can see, this 746 is in the black colour. Black was standard, it was the most inexpensive to rent. But of course there were six other colours of the 746 available to rent. So there was red, ivory, topaz yellow, concord blue, two-tone green and two-tone grey. So you know, you did have a bit of a colour choice with these phones. Um, certainly more colour choices than the trim phones at the time. So, um, as you can see, this phone is, well, pretty much original. We have the original handset cord here. We have the original line cord with the original block terminal on the end. And as you can see, the line cord is the thick type, the heavy type, which is cool. And you can see there the block terminal says GPO on it. And through the end of the block terminal where the original line would have gone into this, um, I've put one of those reproduction line cards in the matching colour, of course. And that has the modern 431A BT modular plug on the end. So just pop that out of the way and we can have a better look at the phone. So it is in very good condition for its age. And see how shiny it is. I think the black 746s do look quite smart, if a little boring, but as you can see the handset card is in great shape. I did remould it, um, but originally it wasn't too bad anyway, um, from what I remember. So we have the line card on this side, so of course the handset and line card do come out the back. We have the little screw there that which you remove, well partially remove, which will pop the case off. Here we have the carrying handle, you can just see it there. So you know you can carry the phone either when it's on hook or off hook. And around to this side, so you know it's just generally in very good condition for its age. So let's take a quick look at the handset. So it's a typical 700 series handset. Here's our receiver and there's the transmitter. The transmitter is the original carbon one. Uh, it is crackling a little bit um, so it would benefit from being replaced with an electronic one. But as I don't really use this phone a whole lot and it just sits in my collection I don't really see any benefit in doing that at this point in time. But of course, very typical of old phones, you can unscrew the end caps there on both the receiver and the transmitter so you can easily change them and you can always tell if the usually if the handset card's original if the little clamp thing that holds it in which stops the grommet end from pulling out if that's metal if it's an entirely molded piece of uh, rubber then that's replaced but as you can see that's metal, so that is an original handset card from the GPO. Alright, so we'll just screw this on here. Oh, well, it would help if I um, put it in straight, wouldn't it? There we go. I'm trying to look through my viewfinder to do this, and it's making it very difficult. Right, so anyway, there's the handset. Nice traditional handset to hold, very weighty. So this is a Mark 1 casing, which means that it has a continuous slope on the cradle there down to the switch hooks. And it does look quite quite nice with the Mark 1. The Mark 2 cases had this little um, bump thing in the cradle there at the front, which would have stopped the handset from sliding forward on hook like that. As you can see, these Mark 1 
seven four sixes can do that and they can get knocked off hook. Not that I've ever had that problem, but obviously it must have been reported as a fault at the time. Otherwise the GPO wouldn't have modified that. So on the top here we have a little dummy cover which was missing originally and some kind person off one of the telephone groups, I, I'm sorry if you're watching this, I, your name escapes me right now, but that is an original piece he sent me, this plastic cover and it has a little metal clip which slides on underneath which keeps it in place. The reproduction ones would have just pushed in with little moulded plastic tabs which keep it clicked in place. So that's cool that it's an original part, so I'm happy with that. So here's the dial here. So it has a number card now, I've put a blank one in there, just like it would have originally had before it was rented out. Um, so I don't think it had a number card when I received this. I can't remember, I'll have to check back on the first look video. But anyway, I've lubricated the dial. So as you can hear, it's got a lovely smooth sound to it. can get quite addictive that. But anyway, that's a lovely dial that. So yes, I just love the condition of this phone. I think the black ones always look really shiny. So let's take a look underneath. Let's pop the handset off. So hopefully we can get all this in view here. So we have all the feet intact. They're a little bit worn though because the phone wobbles a little bit like that when it's on a surface. But it's not too bad. So here we have the dual gong bells. You can just see the clapper there that strikes them. We have the post office authorised release stamp 692 there from when this was originally rented out. If I turn it this way we can see the, the markings on the bottom. So it says 746F. So that's the model, and F stands for figured, meaning it's just numbers, there's no letters on this outer bezel here. So SPK is the manufacturer that made this, which I believe is Speak, which is also a derivative of Plessy, I think. 71 is the date it was made, and the slash one is the wiring spec inside the phone. But of course I've converted this, so that doesn't really apply now, but anyway... There we go. Well, the phone is now plugged in and ready to go, so I'll first start by showing you an outgoing call so we'll be able to see the phone dialing out and you'll be able to hear the receive. So, without further ado, here goes. So, there's the dial tone. So there we go. So we'll call one other number. Dial tone again there. So there we go. So as you can see, that's all working as it should. I'm not sure if you heard on the demo there, but occasionally you can hear a bit of a crackling in the receiver, and that's due to the transmitter it does need replacing. And finally, I will ring the telephone to demonstrate an incoming call, which, if you're above the age of 30 and British, you've probably heard this before. But if not, it's a very iconic ring, so if you've seen a lot of old British TV, then, you know, you've probably heard it before. So, without further ado, here we go. Here's the 746 ring.
there we go, lovely, very quaint. So I'll just put my iPhone there and put it on speaker and I will transmit into the handset so you can see how that sounds. Testing, one, two, three. As you can hear, for a carbon transmitter, that is pretty good. But of course, an electronic microphone would be a lot clearer. So there we go. Alright then, so I think that just about concludes the final look on this really cool GPO 746 in the standard black colour. So if you have any questions, please comment below. If you enjoyed the video, then please give me a like. And subscribe if you haven't already, and that way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. So thank you very much for watching, and until the next time, I'll see you again very soon. Take care.